a 2002 Honda Odyssey with 139,000 miles on it. Got a K-type thermocouple in the dipstick down about an inch below what the bottom of the dipstick would normally uh, reach so that I'm well into the sump of the transmission. I'm measuring temperature here because I had to remove the stock cooling loop from the transmission. Um, transmission shop suspected that there is some corrosion and some uh, uh, flow blockage. So instead I've taken it out and I'm running two series plate and fin coolers. It's 92 degrees out here, pretty humid in Central Texas. You see the speed that I'm doing? I've been at this speed for about 10 minutes. And uh, I think it's doing quite well. This is in Celsius. So uh, do your conversion here, 71, 72 Celsius. I don't know what that is about. Uh, 73 Celsius is 163 Fahrenheit. So watch what happens now whenever I get on the gas. You'll see a spike. Here we go. See that? Not bad for not having the stock cooling through the radiator running and it's just pure air plate and fin cooling. Here's how I have that thermocouple probe connected. It's going up through the windshield there. It's cracked there. Underneath here. And into the dipstick. You can't see down there very well. But what I did, I'm gonna pull this out now. I marked it. See that black mark right there? That's about an inch, inch further down than the dipstick. And that just ensures that you're in the sump, so you can measure the temperature. And there it is. Um, take the little heat shrink that's off, because the first time I did this. The temperature actually made the heat shrink slough off. So I got about a half inch piece of heat shrink inside my transmission system. Shouldn't hurt it though. Anyway, that's how you do it.